<laughs> you guys and welcome to book haul monday where there's a book haul every monday while supplies last so i didn't buy books this time so yay me right these are all from Alyssa from a series and we got this book box and then we have this box so many books and i don't remember like all of what's in these boxes so let's go ahead and get started because she was giving away books like a lot of them and i was like i remember going i want that and i remember one or two books that i wanted plus she's been having some other ones that i had wanted for a while so it was like a combination of wow keisha wow so <clears throat> i'm gonna be having a lot of books so the first one is 20 boys summer by sarah ockler oh i remember this i remember i really really wanted this so um uh, this girl and her friend go off to summer vacation and the, and the one of her, her friend wants to do like a uh, fine boys for the summer or whatever but she already had a boy and it was her brother it was her friend's older brother who like died they had never told anyone they were going out i think so that's really good and then we have the perks of being a wildflower by stephen trabowski I actually this I wasn't sure but I did want to read this book and I know I owned it at one point but I think my friend have it and she's never given it back yeah so this is nice thanks and then we have slam by Nick Hornby now I don't remember what this is about but I do have another um, another Nick Hornby book that I read so this would be my second one so this one is just like coming in age one I think I don't want to go into too deep to read the synopsis for everyone or we'd be here forever. And then I have Dark Tide by Elizabeth Haynes. Don't. It looks like this. I will look it up. I think this one is might be like a like a part of a series or so. This one I definitely remember wanting. I was like, you gotta give it to this. And it's in hardcover. It's Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler and Art by Maria column and I know most of you guys um, know what this is about probably by now but it's about this girl and this guy and I broke up they broke up and everything that's in the box like tells about why they broke up so I guess he's going through the box or anything they have incredible stuff and I had it on my Kindle and it was like an uh, two one ninety nine but you know all the pictures and stuff so I didn't read it because I was just waiting to get a physical copy and thank you so very much because I have been wanting this ah and then we have Winter Girls by Laura Hales Anderson and I absolutely love speak I love the movie I love the book and um, I've been wanting to read some of her other books uh, and I think this one is about this girl and she like stars herself so we're gonna see how it's gonna go and then let's go on to the next box I already have so many books that I need to find shelf space for I really do need to buy some new shelves okay people like at least two three other ones I know it's shameful I bought new shelves a while ago because one of them I broke but technically at that time two of them have broke the other one is just holding up really well and it doesn't have books on it it just have DVDs but I do need to like <coughs> almost stabbed myself there for a moment but I do need to like redo that shelf see if it can work or not okay here we go we have Nora Roberts vision in one white book one in the bride portrait and I really like Nora Roberts um ow she's really I really I have a lot of her books all romance so it's been a while since I really sat down and read some of hers so here we go and then we have um, silver and tarnished and um, this is book one and two about this girl uh, she's a lone werewolf shift safety hunter so I'm really looking forward to that um, then we have the one I really been wanting and it is ball banger by Lisa Clayton so like this girl she moves into this new like apartment in San Francisco and her other her neighbors nocturnal activities have like gotten like really like bad to the point where I think she goes knocks on the door 
And so I think they make a bet or something that along those lines. It's just like one of those new adult romantic things. I have been wanting to read this forever. And <clears throat> the next one that we have is Romeo and Juliet and Vampires. And I like Romeo and Juliet. I will like love Romeo and Juliet. So a retelling is always awesome. Plus vampires, you guys know. And then we have um uh Gabriel's Redemption uh, by Silvina Rainyard and I've heard a lot about the series this isn't the first book but I was like just go ahead I don't think this is the first one um, but I will be getting the other two in the series sometime soon now that I have this one and then we have The Thorn and the Blossom a two-sided love story by Theodore Goss I've been wanting and re-wanting this book and you just take it out and it's like an accordion accordion book wow that went really fast so it tells a love story from the girl's point of view and a boy's point of view and most people say like they say that you can read it from other, each way side but some people are like no you should start with the girl some people are like no you should start with the boy so um the first this start is evelyn's story and you just like read it like that and then the other side is Brendan's story of how they met. So I really thought that was cool and I've been wanting this book for such a long time and I finally have it in my hands. And then we have Hope, uh, Fairy Grand Hope by Beth Brakler and Kay Frazier. And this is how it looks. And I don't know, it's like a fairy tale kind of thing. So it's about, it has fairies in it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Ooh, look, that looks beautiful. I can't remember exactly what the story's about, but it has beautiful like, it seems to have like really nice like uh, pictures and all of that sort so that is awesome and then we have Meet Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews and I have seen this book all over booktube but I wasn't willing to like pay for it to read it oh look that's nice uh, so I never got it because I was like uh, not that I'm not interested to the point where I need to buy it yet but she was giving her copy away and I can't remember, she, I don't think she liked it that much. So, but I'm still excited to be able to read it. And it's about this guy, he meets this girl and I guess she's like dying and they go on some kind of adventures or whatever. Um, but last but not least is Rooms by Emma Donahue, which I know a lot of you guys have heard about. I see this book every which way. I mean, it basically stopped me even before like it became a thing on booktube on like book outlet and stuff like that. And like please like it sounds like it's it's about this boy and he grows up in this room and all he knows is he's like a five-year-old and he was born here and he like all he knows is that he doesn't so it's like from his point of view him being like like just stuck in this room being abused and he doesn't know any better so I was like I kind of don't want to read that in one way because it's like just hard probably to read about in another way it's like it's interesting maybe I should so I, I am now that I own it I can't get away from it anymore but uh yeah so those are all <laughs> the books that I got today there is like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve five, 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 sixteen I got sixteen new books and I didn't have to buy any of them thank you again Alyssa you are awesome and I'm gonna go off and try to actually read one of these before <laughs> the end of the year yeah that'd be great um I'll see you guys later and tell me guys if you guys have read actually any of these books before, if you liked them, if you hated them, I'd love to know and bye. <laughs>